Hi YouTubers, it's me Modding in Minecraft and this is part 5 of the Industrial Craft 2 Guide and Tutorial. In this video, first of all I'll be showing you several different snapshots of different texture packs. As in my last video I used the lowest resolution of the LB Photo Realism texture pack and many of you commented on the video or sent me a message saying you preferred the default Minecraft texture pack or recommended other texture packs. Second of all, I'll be explaining how you should advance an industrial craft. Furthermore, I'm going to actually give you a choice of which path you can take an industrial craft. Um, first of all, which I'll be showing in the video, is the solar panel route, which is one of the best energy gatherers. However, it uses much more complex and advanced materials in-game. Or you could use a much simpler setup using a water wheel, which doesn't produce as much energy. However, it uses much less resources than solar panels. Water wheels would be fine um, with a few low level machines, however it would have to be temporary and wouldn't give you much room for expansion, therefore is, therefore, in this video I'm mainly going to focus on solar panels, but I will make another video on water wheels if requested, but it won't be part of the series. Hi guys, it's me Modern Minecraft and today I'm just got showing you the text packs continue on from the Part the start of part five. Um, so first of all, as you can see, this is the default Minecraft texture pack. Um, it's quite simple. It comes with the game, obviously. Um, continuing on, this is the Edding Craft RPG Doko. Now this is the Fluffy Craft pack. Um, this is the Elbow LB Photo Realism pack, which I used in my last video. This is the Diostros RPG pack, which is a bit dark, so I used it at night. This is the Summerfield pack, which is quite plain and simple. And this last texture pack is the Alice texture pack. So just send me a message in the comments um, saying which is your favourite texture pack. Hi guys, I'm um, back. If and now I'm going to show you how to advance in industrial craft, comment, I'll just stick with the default um, Minecraft. First of all, pack. I'm going to um, show you so how to make a wrench. Guys, uh, moving um, you will need rest of part five. Wrench. Um, I do not think I've shown you how to make bronze before bronze bars but you will even need some copper if you have some copper ignits you can use the copper ignits or if you still have some copper ore which you haven't smelted yet or put in the mass or if you've got any copper dust left you can still that's the main component for uh, bronze bars but uh, if you don't if you don't have any copper dust or you have some copper ore that you still have to smelt or you have some ignits that's fine um, second of all I'll need some tin so let me just spawn some tin ore hi guys i'm back and i've got a bunch of tin ore um now what i'm going to do is i need to get some batteries i've got some batteries out my chest go to your macerator which is here um put in three i this well actually i'll put in i'll put in Twelve. I'm not sure how many bronze. I think you need one, two, three, four, five, six. You need six gold bars for um six gold bars. Sorry, not six gold bars. Six bronze bars to make a macerator. So now you have a bunch of copper, copper ore. No, sorry, copper dust and a bunch of tin dust. Obviously, you won't need that much. Uh, of both dusts, but I've just spawned those in to make up the process a bit quicker, as it was quick and t taking quite quite some time. So then, go in. Ashley, you don't need to go in the workbench. You can go into your four by four crafting grid in your inventory. Um, you put co copper just like this, like that. One more, sorry. Uh, and then you put tin dust in the corner, and that gives you uh two bronze dust right so that was just enough right now you have bronze dust then you can put that in your electric furnace like any normal furnace right that'll go in the electric furnace and just wait for that to finish smelting right so now i have the bronze bars i can go to the workbench put and then put them in this order just like that and that gives you a wrench and Basically, what you do with a wrench is a wrench. Say, um, if you 
hopefully none of you have found this out the hard way but if you say minor uh, industrial craft object just so we say a pickaxe you don't get the object back you have to use a wrench and right click so I will do this on this macerator um, oh sorry there's still a battery in there and then you can right click and the wrench does go out quite fast but I guess you wouldn't be moving around that many um, machines I'll put the macerator back and put one of these batteries in um, so that's another macerator also before I you go onto solar panels I would recommend building a few more machines so I would say I recommend getting about three, three electric furnaces um, two extractors and maybe three macerators um, and also when I show you how to make more machines um, I would suggest making more than one of them um, which I'm just going to do now right I'm back um, as you can see I'm just in my new second floor which I just constructed um, and just above that roof there's uh, a special place where the solar panels will go and I'll show you that in a second um, so as I'm going back down here um, I've added two an extra ma uh, extractor now I've got four electric furnaces and two macerators now I will be showing you how to make solar panels so I will show you now how to make one solar panel in my design I'll be showing you I'll, I'll be actually using three solar panels um, however, um, you can make more um, if you wanted to. However, uh, as one is probably isn't enough. Um, basically, now to make solar panels, um, if you want to store your energy uh, using uh, MFE, which basically a uh, uh, energy storer, um, it's qu it's quite expensive. It's quite expensive recipe. Basically, well, I'll show you how to make solar panels first. First of all, you need some coal, so I'll take some coal out of my chest, then go to your macerator, and you basically need a bunch of macerated coal. Uh, whilst, th whilst that coal is macerating, I'll go and get some glass, which is another component of the, the um, thing. Right, I'll just spawn some in. Um, there's some glass, get a bunch of glass and also I will need to make another generator which is quite annoying I will need a battery which I assume all of you know how to make um, if you don't I would suggest going back to my previous videos I only need, I only need one I would suggest going back to my previous videos how I got in refined down no I don't, I need to need some refined iron to make a machine block and um, this is for the generator now and also you need sorry I've just blanked out and you need a furnace <laughs> right so get some, need some more cobble right and then I'll just make a furnace put the furnace uh, I assume all of you know how to make a furnace then you put the furnace into your inventory then you make yourself a generator also you'll need some more wires so get your cop copper and get your rubber um, make quite a lot and then put it like Oops. Right. And that's made me a bunch of wires. Right. Um now I guess the coal is macerated now. That's enough coal for one solar panel. And then I just I hopefully I'll get this right. You put the coal like that, you put the glass like that you put one generator there and you put a copper cable there and yeah that gives you a solar panel and just wait a second I'm going to make another two solar panels this next bit will be shown in the next part of the video